down there. Where are we? We are in Lewis, Delaware, not to be confused with Lewis, England. Uh, although uh, the, Michael wrote about a number of years ago, an interesting historical fact about this town is a house that's you can actually see the gray uh, clapboard has a cannonball embedded in the side of it from when the English came into this harbor and uh, you know and said, "Pay attention, because the English are in your harbor." And that that cannonball is still right down the road. So uh, a lot of history in this town. I accept no responsibility for that. You know. <laughs> They're still kind of put together whether or not his uh, ancestors were involved. Involved, but of course his ancestors aren't from in England, so it's been a difficult process. My ancestors were being chased across the, the pale by the Cossacks. At the oh, okay, time, so, at the so, so there'll yeah. probably be no connection made, but no. we're heading down to the Inn at Canal Square, where Michael's going to be the person that christens uh, the dogfish room at the Inn at Canal Square. It's a very unique... Uh, it can't be very unique, it's either unique or it's not. It's a little bit unique. <laughs> no, no, it can't, no, no degrees it's of quasi unique. It's quasi-unique. No. Remember, <laughs> it's just unique. We don't have marketing bullshit in this. Okay, company, that's you know? right. Just unique. So it's a unique experience because we basically made a hotel room overlooking the harbor uh, just for beer lovers. And so people can come down here and rent this room for the weekend and they'd be you you come in, you get dogfish head beer stocked in your fridge, our homemade soaps and shampoo made from beer, a library of beer books at your disposal, of course with a number of your titles in that library, CDs of national bands that have played at our pub, and we just wanted an opportunity for beer lovers to come down here, experience not just Dogfish Head, but the beauty of our harbor front town, and uh, learn a little bit more about beer. And you, I mean, Some people will tell you, I suppose, that people who really love beer aren't capable of having these other sensibilities, you know. That's all they care about is yes. beer. And hopefully that's not the case. I know with you, well, you, you have a lot of other interests, as do I, you know, and we're hoping that, that people take advantage of the natural beauty that they're surrounded by when they're here as well. It's possible to, uh, I think, have an absolute passion about something, but also have uh, a hinterland, as uh, a famous British politician once described it. A hinterland as far as other interests? Exactly, yeah. I think he was being told off for being interested in fine art or photography or something and should be attending to political life and said, well, you know, I have a hinterland too. And his was? Uh, I think it was photography in fact. No, Where are we going? This we're way? going right up there, that room overlooking the harbor. All Hi. the way from London. All this right. is Stacy. Manages Hi. the Hi. hotel. Nice you Scott who manages Hi. marketing nice at the hotel. Welcome to the inch. Matt, who owns nice Quest Fitness, Hi. who's who's doing the kayak and Hi. boat trip. Hi. Ted Becker. Ted, who is owner of the hotel. Henry Evans, Cape Gazette News. Hi, Henry. Nice to meet Good you. Good to meet you. Fellow member of the press. This is getting like Japan, you know. <laughs> We're just standing around the bow. <laughs> <laughs> I just came from Japan. <laughs> just came from Japan. 